I'm Pete. And I'm Jeff. Our new MPC 1.9.2 software update is about to be released. Not only does it bring new features to our awesome new MPC Touch, it provides some exciting enhancements for all MPC users. In MPC 1.9.2 you get New modes implemented on our Touch UI, including key group program edit and an awesome new MIDI control mode. A great new sampler workflow that allows you to slice a sample as you record it. We call it Lazy Chop. Automatic assignment of cue links for plugin programs to save you setup time. There are also a number of other workflow improvements, such as a built in screensaver to improve the life of your MPC Touch screen, an enhanced XYFX experience, and many other improvements to the Touch interface, including better cue links, finer mixer control, and automation available throughout the interface. We've extended the MPC sampler to make it quicker to sample and slice a recording. You can also sample directly into your pads to speed up your kit creation. This means, for example, you can play a record and sample parts of it directly onto the pad in just one step. There are a few different modes you can choose, so let's check them out. First up, we have the slice mode. Here you can tap pad to insert a new slice point in real time. At the end of the sampler session, you'll have a new sample with all your slices there, ready to use. If you prefer to work with pad parameters, then you'll love the new pad sampler modes. They capture the incoming audio directly into your program's pads. Once you've finished recording, you're already set to play. So here in pad tap mode, each pad will start to capture audio when it's pressed. Once I stop sampling, I can switch into main mode and then immediately perform. We've now brought MIDI control mode to the NPC Touch. This allows you to control external MIDI devices with your hardware control surface. Touch any control, be it a pad, cue link or button and use the on-screen editor to assign what MIDI message it produces. This is a great way to control synths and external sound gear from your NPC. But with the MPC Touch, we've taken another leap forward. You can now turn your touch screen into a huge XY pad. Open the XY settings and choose which MIDI CC you want on each axis. Now swipe your finger over the screen to perform. We've improved the XY effects to clearly display the parameters being controlled and to make it more fun to use. Now our tempo synchronized effects highlight their columns to indicate what time division is active. Their highlight is now blue. The non-time based effects are shown in green. For all effects, the name of each parameter is shown on their axis so you don't need to guess. And as you swipe over the XY pad, the adjusted parameter values are shown for continuous visual feedback. We've added some useful enhancements to the MPC Sample Editor. Now in Sample Edit mode, you can rename a sample directly from the toolbar. The cue links are also easier to use with the MPC Touch. As you grab a knob, you can now clearly see the parameter, value, and adjustment it will apply. MPC 1.9.2 includes all this and more. It's a great update and we hope you'll enjoy it. As ever, it will arrive automatically in your MPC software update feed. Stay tuned for more exciting MPC news. Follow Akai Pro for more details. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.